My name is Sam Park, and I run an agency called Instinct X. We do digital brand management for consumers packaged brands, restaurant groups, and franchises. My entrepreneurship journey looked quite uh, up and down, so I've actually dropped out of school twice, and I'm currently running a business full-time as of actual January. And it's been everything from not being able to pay the bills to being able to hire a team of three, um, and just really, really trying to figure out how to actually grow a business. I think just the overall concept of how do I actually grow as a leader and how do I actually continuously get clients and just being able to scaling a business, do we have the right business model in terms of what we're trying to get done here? Are we actually providing good value to our clients that makes them want to come back? Um, and just the technical challenges of just building a business. There are a lot of projects where we lost a lot of money, uh, but there's also projects that where you actually made some profit. And just it was a really fine-tuning balance of trying out different business strategies, different services that we offered, what was profitable in terms of the amount of time spent and the amount of time um, that we allocated to a specific service or a client. Um, and then just learning, you know, how much money did we make from that client or how much money did we lose from that client. I think the biggest advice that I would have for young entrepreneurs is really just to get your hands dirty. It's, it's so easy to talk about building a business. Um, it's another thing to actually build one. And so the number one thing that I think a lot of young entrepreneurship should focus on is how to actually get paid for what you do. And that doesn't necessarily mean that you might not have any experience in a specific industry. And that doesn't mean that you have to force your clients to pay you every time. It could be starting out in an industry that you might not know, doing a lot of pro bono work for the first little while, but building a really, really strong portfolio and a case study of what you're doing. And then being able to say, hey, um, this is a way that I can provide value and this is how I'm gonna make money from my business. So I think in terms of our, I guess, uh, in the 20, 21st century, it's really easy to get lost up into the hustle culture. Everybody says that you should be working 24 hours, you know, 24 hours a day. Um, it's all about the grind. It's all about the hustle. But I think a lot of young entrepreneurs forget that rest is actually the most important part about being an entrepreneur. You have to learn how to rest if you're going to sustain your business and also be responsible for people on your team. And I think we often get it wrong as young and ambitious individuals that we think that we just have to work 24 seven. Um, it's finding that correct balance between working sustainably and being able to take care of yourself and others at the same time.